Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Tom. Today I'm filling in for Greg. He went out and got a tune-up on himself. But anyways, we're standing in front of this beautiful 1965 Cobra replica by Backdraft. Beautiful color combination. This will be a nice one for a 4th of July parade. Red, white, and blue, baby. Don't forget, these are not kit cars. Backdrafts are built in South Africa. Absolutely beautiful automobiles. This one has less than 700 miles, and it's sporting the iconic 427 motor. Absolutely beautiful. You don't see a whole lot of them with this color scheme, and it is just stunning. Remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can help you with your transportation, financing. We do it all. You can reach me at 248-974-9513, seven days a week. Take a look at that red interior. That's stunning. The paint is absolutely beautiful on this. I can't see any flaws on it. Let's open this up. Nice trimmed out trunk. For your overnight bag. You can visit our website at vanguardmotorsales.com and see all 100 pictures of this vehicle and also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, and all our social media platforms. So give us a call today at 248-974-9513 and let me tell you how to park this dream in your driveway. All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Let's just take this baby for a ride. 1965 Cobra replica by Backdraft. What a cool little car this one is. 600 miles on it, uh, pushing 480 horsepower from a 427 Ford Iconic motor. Um, it's got the drop foot box. All the gauges work. What a little fun car this is. If you like speed, your hair blowing and handling a Cobra's for you. Remember, we can help you with all your financing, shipping needs to help you park this dream in your driveway. Call us seven days a week at 248 974 9513. the color too. I haven't had many of the red, white, and blue cars. Remember we're available to come out and visit us as well and right here in Michigan. You can fly into Detroit Metro Airport and we can pick you up from the airport. box in here really helps if you're taller uh, gives you a couple extra inches leg room so you can be, be over six foot and drive this one comfortably we're gonna take this back to the shop and do something no one else does in the industry we're gonna put it on a lift and we're going to show you underneath the car, show you how beautiful and clean this is. And this guy can't drive worth the damn. Just cut me right off. What's a turn signal? Here's your 
here's our location in Plymouth. We're going to pull this baby in and show you the rest of it. Okay, guys, we got our backdraft Cobra up in the air. Now, this is a little bit more of a modern one. I, I see a lot of 2019 dates on this thing, so this is a very, very recent Cobra. Um, now, the backdraft Cobras typically will come with a uh, BMW rear end. However, this one has a Ford 88, and I believe this is something they just started doing of recently. Uh, now, this particular independent Ford 88 is uh, 355 to 1 and is limited slip, which means that you have uh, you know, like a posi traction kind of type thing going on. Disc brakes on either end of it. Of course, like uh, all the arms on it are adjustable, tubular, whatnot. Uh, and what, the cool thing with the Backdraft Cobras and uh, Superformance as well is you get a very consistent high quality with them. There's no variation in the standard to quality of build, uh, which is something I really like to sell on these cars. Um, so you got all that going for us. Of course, it being a 2019, it goes without saying, everything under here looks like it's brand new. This one doesn't look like it's really been driven much, if at all. Um, and you can look on the top of all these things here. You're not rubbing any dirt or any nonsense off the top of any of these surfaces, which uh, tell me that this car has lived a very, very easy life. Not certain on the mileage on it, but I can't, I can't imagine it would be very much. Uh, transmission is a T5, five-speed uh, manual transmission. This is like a Tremec uh, transmission here. Um, we do have a hydraulic uh, actuated clutch, uh, quick time explosion resistant bell housing. Uh, this is the underside of our 427 stroker 351 Windsor base uh, engine. This is a T, uh, like a T sump oil pan roughly, like probably seven or eight quarts in this. I've got something very similar to this on my car. Um, coming forward of all of that, of course we have rack and pinion steering manual on this car and uh, I think quite frankly power steering would be a bit uh, excessive on this. Not necessary for a car this light. Uh, sway bar looking good, of course, all new fresh bushings, no big surprise. Uh, we have a ride height adjustable struts on both the front and the rear, or, or you know, coilovers on the rear, I should say. But uh, that is also a little bit of an upgrade that I'm seeing in some of the more modern Cobras that uh, Backdraft's coming out with. Uh, for wheels and tires on this, of course, we have uh, knockoff style wheels, 245 40 ZR18s, uh, good looking tire here. Let me see here, Nittos. Uh, in the back, quite a bit more, which is typical for these kind of cars. We have, I think it's in threes somewhere. Nope, it's close. 295 40ZR18 back here as well. Once again, Nitto NT555, what are these, G2s. And I believe the fronts are exactly the same. Uh, stainless pipes on the side of it here, and uh, I think a jet-coated headers on the inside of the engine bay, which we're gonna see in just a second. Okay, guys, for an engine, this is a 427 stroker, a 351 base uh, Ford V8. Now this has got all the characteristics of the crate engines that these cars ship with, uh, including the serial number there on the, on the uh, back of the engine block. So the engine block itself is a dart engine block, uh, aftermarket, and those are actually a pretty good piece, very, very strong. Um, on top of that, we have a set of Edelbrock E Street aluminum cylinder heads. Um, I've took, actually, I've actually had this valve cover off, but looking down inside there, I can see definitely it has a hydraulic roller camshaft. Um, aftermarket uh, roller rockers on it as well, dual springs with dampers, uh, ARP head bolts holding the heads down. Uh, overall, pretty nice little engine inside. Um, on the outside of here, you can see we've got a Performer RPM dual plane intake manifold, and on top of that, we have a Holly, I believe this is one of their Street Avenger series carburetors, a 770 CFM, vacuum secondary electric choke, uh, straight boosters, um, overall pretty nice piece as well. As far as the ignition system goes, we have an MSD uh, Pro Billet Distributor, Blaster SS coil over here, and then up underneath the dashboard, we have a 6AL ignition box uh, mounted in the spot that the, when you order them from the uh, backdraft, that's exactly where they are. Uh, power brakes on this one, we do have, it looks like a later model master cylinder hidden up under the fender over there. Um, as far as the front dress of the engine goes, we have uh, Edelbrock aluminum water pump, uh, we got to set a billet. Uh, Serpentine style pulleys on it, a Powermaster one wire alternator on it. Um, as I'd mentioned underneath here, jet coated headers or you know ceramic coated, excuse me, headers. Uh, looks like stainless pipes on the side. Uh, overall, a very, very nice build on this one. And once again, with the back drafts, you get a very standard high quality of build. And this one looks as if it hasn't uh, deviated from that because it looks as almost as if it's never been driven. So you're essentially getting a new Cobra here. So guys, that all being said, give Tom a call at the number below and let Vanguard Motorcycles park this Cobra in your driveway. Keep the rubber side down. We'll see you in the next one.